Hello YouTubers. Do a little video today about uh, Believe It or Not. You know me and my Believe It or Not stuff. That pretty motorcycle. <laughs> Get my old ass up here. Getting older by the day. Okay. I got a few of them here if I can remember. First one's going to be is about the uh, biggest motorcycle ever made. This guy over in Italy made this motorcycle 16 feet tall. It's a monster. And yes, he rides it. <laughs> Not very far. See if he's got training wheels on it. But she's a big one. I think she's 35 feet long also. It's got a V8 motor in it, 280 horsepower. I guess he don't go very fast, he don't need a lot. A little bit of torque. Alright. How about the most expensive motorcycle ever sold? Any guesses on that? This was kind of strange when I looked it up. It's Easy Rider Motorcycle. The one that uh, Peter Fawn rode in the, in the movie. I thought they had, uh, somebody had stole them. I know they blew one up at the end of the uh, movie. I thought somebody had stole it, but they said they had about four. So, the one that's still going sold for $1.35 million. An option. That's expensive. Some guy, pay, some guy have plenty of money to pay, pay that much for that bike. There's a lot of reproductions out there. But to have the one he had, Peter finally actually rode in the, uh, in the movie, that's why it's makes it so valuable. The old Panhead. I don't know what year it was. This is a Panhead motorcycle. With uh, it's a wide glide front end. Braked out. And it got dog bones on the handlebars. Risers. If you know what that is. Of course, that famous paint job. Okay, that's uh, two of them. I got two more to go if I can uh, remember. Okay, this this woman was doing a some kind of test, a world a record or something like that, trying to go to the speed. And this is the fastest crash they've ever recorded for a woman. It's uh, I guess 289 miles an hour. She was going when she crashed. She lived through it. It's kind of spooky. Going that fast and crashing. I'm sure they got a lot of protection and stuff on it. As people have died doing that. As another girl died a couple years ago, a famous girl that did, died. Soft flasks. She was trying to break a record. But this other one was in uh, Australia. That's what that happened at. Okay. I got another one here. Hope I don't repeat myself. I had four down in my mind to talk about. Let's see if I can get this one. Okay, the longest jump. This guy held the world record of the longest jump off a ramp. Uh, 343, no, 351 feet. And uh, he did it three times that night. He kept, he kept going farther and farther. And finally, uh, that's what he ended up at. Who's had a, has a world record? And I think that was in 2018. Uh, I think the girl wrecked in 2008. I'm gonna have to get that backwards. Anyhow, that's four, believe it or not. And uh, I got to, I got more to talk about. That's gotta get some under my peon brain. I know y'all want me to talk about boating again. You gotta get in there boat, guys. It's close. It's gonna be a close one. I seen her on uh, CNN the other night. When CNN is in the in the in the. In the cahoots with the Democrats and that's what she is they are even talking shit on her about her so they asked her a question the guy said she went around for six minutes and talking and never answered the freaking question I'll tell you what she might the biggest be the biggest dingbat I've ever seen running for office she is a kook someone used to be a district attorney of California that shows that she screwed her way to the top out there because she is not got much in the knocking department. I, mean, I told you that before, Willie 
Willie Brown was her uh, boy, and he he was a big wheel in the, the Democratic Party in California, and he put her through. And now, can you believe she's the vice president and want to be the president? Wow! People vote. It don't take long. You vote early. You be in out in three minutes. There's nobody in line when you got the um, the walk-ins. You wait on election day, it's gonna be a little more crowded. Uh, probably it could be a lot more crowded. But anyhow, I ran across a. Uh, well, actually, I've seen it on there for sale for a long, about a year now. It's a uh, street glide with a sidecar, and it's painted the same color, two-tone, black and gray. Looks real good. He put a lot of he put, his father put a lot of money into it, and he's only put like 20 miles on it since he since he uh, had them put the thing together, put the sidecar. He said it's shipped the uh, motorcycle to uh, sidecar place, and they set everything up because you don't set a sidecar up right, it's not gonna it's not gonna track right, it's not gonna drive good. So they put uh, probably something to do with the forks, I mean the uh, triple trees and uh, that kind of thing to make it rake right. And it's got some kind of adjustable, uh, the sidecar is adjustable for some weird reason on, uh, on hills or something like that. Anyhow, the guy's got $20,000 alone in the sidecar, just the sidecar. Oh yes, it's also got a, uh, it's got a mechanical brake. Not brake, I'm sorry, it's got a mechanical uh, uh, reverse. It's not the uh, gear drive like the uh, tri trikes are. The tri trikes got a gear drive like a, a starter is. It turns, it turns the transmission backwards. Got a lot, of, a lot of goodies on it, but of course he's asking too much for it. He was asking uh, 38 for it. And I told him yesterday, uh, and uh, I was trying to be nice to him, not to be rude, just to tell him I was, I was pricing three wheelers. That's all we I could uh, really price is. It's going by three wheelers, are and I offered him uh, 25 for it. He said he talked to his father, which he just promised to his father. They see what uh, if he would take it or not. I'm not expecting him to take it, but you know it doesn't hurt to try. I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I, you know, I would like to have it. Sidecar like a light button and a trike. But uh, I'm not going to pay too much for something. Just because I like it. Well, what happens if I want to sell it next week, next month or something? You, uh, you lose your butt. That's what I've always done. You go buy something, put it in your mind. You might have to sell it soon. So make sure you pay for it what you can sell it for. Appreciate y'all stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to my channel before, I appreciate if you do. Hit that bell. It'll let you know when I got something else come up. And, uh, if you like this, hit the thumbs up too. I appreciate it. Help me out with uh, YouTube. Alright folks. I'm gonna stop talking now.